After 23 years of diving, this is not what Lloyd Bond expected to find off the coast of Nova Scotia. They were just all right off this wharf, like there's butterfly fish for the last couple of years that are directly under this wharf. Vibrant butterfly fish, tropical seahorses, species he's seen in Mexico but never thought he'd see at home. He suits up a couple times a week, always taking along his underwater cameras. I remember my first butterfly fish that I've seen. I've only seen one the whole year, and then the following year I've seen about 10 of them, and then last year I've seen about 20 of them. And not only one location, I've seen them in multiple locations. Bond moves slowly, creeping up on the fish, which are often no bigger than a loony. He believes he's seeing tropical fish because the cold North Atlantic waters are changing. Federal scientists agree. They say pulses of warm subtropical waters are pushing cold Arctic waters back and carrying small stowaways north. They're just being transported with the, uh, the water and they're not, it's not like they're coming up here because it's warm water, they're coming with the warm water. So far this year, DFO measurements show water temperatures aren't abnormally high, but that comes on the heels of several years of rising water temperatures, including last year, which broke temperature records from Nova Scotia to Newfoundland. The waters outside Halifax are more rugged coastline than tropical paradise. For now, it's unlikely the tropical fish stand a chance at competing with the hardier local species. You're really happy to see them, but it's kind of bittersweet because you know they're going to die off like the first cold snap as soon as the water gets cold um, you know usually a couple days later they're just everything's gone. An unnatural and temporary beauty. Shana Luck, CBC News, Prospect, Nova Scotia.